medical school, specialized in psychic, psychic, mental disorders. Brilliant mind, smart. Get him in here, will you, Harold? Yes. John Muller, parents deceased. One brother, Frederick, accountant, New York Civil Service Welfare Department. Worked his way through Standish University. Four years pre-medical, two years medical college. Withdrew suddenly. Practiced psychoanalysis without a license, Miami, Florida. Released, no evidence. Sold stock in non-existent oil wells, Cincinnati, Ohio. Released. Maintained hotel suite, lavish spender. Apprehended Middleton, payroll hold up. Convicted, sentenced. There's a bus ticket to Los Angeles. That's the address of the Michael John Company. What's the Michael John Company? Medical supply house. Your line, you ought to make good at it. Who we'll fixed it up, my brother Fred? The personnel manager there will have your record. Nobody else will know anything about you. It's a good job, decent life. 35 bucks a week. You won't take it. No? He'll be back here. You're a smart man, Muller. Good luck, Muller. Hiya, Marcy. Yeah, no, I don't smoke. Who came up north, Marcy? Al, big boy Fritz. It's all set down there. They're ready for you. You've got a lot to make up for, huh, Johnny? Who's she? Just a second, Johnny. Dear, what's your name? Johnny. Pretty nice dump, huh? Real comfortable. Yeah? Comfortable and crummy. What about the boys? What are you so impatient about? Just out of the clink and you got ants already? So pickle yourself, I see. No, I take it easy. How long have you been up here with the squirrels? Oh, about two years. You want one, Johnny? You said he had a good setup? Yeah. Safe and sure. I got my own slot machine route now. Big time, eh, Marcy? I bet that brings you 90 bucks a week. Oh, more than that. Sometimes as much as a hundred and a quarter. Safe and sure. You're getting to sound like my brother. Maybe you ought to take civil service. Hey, uh, Johnny. Uh, what do you got in your mind? What do you got planned? Hey, Johnny! You'll see. Good to see you, chum. Hello, big boy. Nice to have you back. Good to be out, eh, Johnny? Sure. Lost a lot of time, though. Got to make a killing. Oh, take time for a beer. What's exciting? Mm, nothing. Same old thing. I got a job in a poker joint. Pays good, though. Sometimes they even give me free chips. That's nice. A little handout now and then. Oh, what's wrong with that, Johnny? Still think you got the world by the tail? Hello, Rosie. Well, we got the brains back. Glad you came. Sit down, you guys. Sit down. That's some food. What's the matter with you? Got to take chances. That's the overhead in our racket. Now, listen. I had a lot of time to think. Got it all worked out. You're going to knock over Rocky Stanzik's gambling joint? No, Johnny. Why not? Not Stanzik. You'd need an army to take him. Just as soon have the feds on me as his boys. What happened to you? You two gone soft? Johnny, you know the setup. We'd never get away with it. He's got trigger men all over the joint. And the place is always crowded. That's it. Lots of people. And lots of money. The take ought to be 200,000 for us. And people, they never notice. They're all wrapped up in themselves. Now listen, this is what we do. We take two cars. We drive south all night and all day. 
Next night, we go to stand six. One guy stands by the cars, one takes the light switch. Three of us walk in, just like players. We get the cash quietly, no fuss. Nobody notices. You hope? Nobody notices. The guy at the switch pulls it on time, the place is dark, we make our getaway. Well? Charlie, you remember Dick Bolter? Sure. He tried to knock off Stancic. He got away, no dough, but he got away. But still, Stancic's guys got him. It took him two years, but they found him in Paris and put a meat stamp on him. In Paris, Johnny. That's the way Stancic operates. I don't like it. What are you crying for, Marcy? He don't know who we are. What can he do? What do you say, big boy? I don't know, Johnny. I don't know. You say you got things all figured out. You always done pretty good before, but... I don't know. How? 200,000? That's a lot of dough for just a minute's work. Rosie? If everything goes like you said, fine. But if we foul up somewhere... We won't. Count me out, Johnny. You forget easy, Marcy, don't you? Who covered for you at the trial? Who would have been in prison with me if I hadn't watched what I said on the stand? And now you try to welsh on me. Okay, Johnny. I don't like it. But I'll go along with you. Well? And we all set. Funny, I have to whip you guys into picking up a fortune.
how many got away? Two. In the other car. Who are they? What's their names? Marcion. Johnny Muller. Get him. If it takes 20 years, get him. Okay, you can go. You mean we just walk away? Just walk away. Not gonna let him get away, are you, Bullseye? You got Rosie, big boy. They'll rat on us. They'll tell them everything they know about us, who we are, everything. They'll find us. They'll get us. A guy likes a chance if those guys don't stop till they get even. Believe me. Now shut up, Russ. How come you didn't figure the outside lamps? You're smart. How come you didn't know they worked on their own generators? You got the money, haven't you? That's 60 grand. 60 grand? I'd be better off working for some slob at 30 bucks a week. What good is it? What am I going to do with it? You're looking for me in every hotel in every town. We hit Stancic's joint. You realize that? Rocky Stancic. You know a place you can hide out from Rocky Stancic? Go on, tell me. You're smart, educated, college man. <laughs> I'm through with you. I'm going to blow. Mexico. South America. On my own. As far as I can get. We'll give you every protection you need. We know how it is. You want to make a new start in a new city. You want to get away from your old surroundings. Now, nobody's going to know where you are or who you are. From now on, you're just another employee. Same as everyone else here at Michael Johnson. Yes, Mr. Anderson. I guess it's time I settled down and took my big brother's advice. Regulations here, I only enforce them. In the future, will you kindly see that your desk lamp's switched out before you leave? Yes, Mr. Thompson. What do you want me to do with that? Deliver them. It's a rush order, some books that have to go to the medical building. Why? What is it? Just a minute. Don't you like to run errands? Is it beneath you? Too good for the job? You can always quit, you know. There's no law that says you have to work here. Yes, Mr. Thompson. Yes. I don't want anything. Who are you? Who sent you? Sent who? Me? What are you following me for? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> that, that was all a mistake. Mistake? You, yes, you see, I, I thought I recognized you. I, I thought you were somebody I know. Shit. You look exactly like him. The same features, the same build. Don't give me that. <laughs> Please. There's nobody that looks like me. Believe me, 
You look exactly like him. Except, of course, for the scar. Scar? Yes, he's got a scar on his right cheek. No, I mean, I mean his left cheek. Well, I, I, I don't remember. You don't remember. Believe me, honest. His name is Bartok. He's a professional colleague. I mean, we have offices in the same building, the medical building over there. He's a doctor, and I'm a dentist. Here. You can smell the iota from her mouth. Me, my wife always complains. She says it's in all my suits. Look. Beat it. Yes. Yes, thank you very much. appointment doesn't start until 10.30. I just talked to you on the phone. How'd you get here so fast? You don't think it was easy to do, do you? Hello, Victor. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not... Oh, my. It's all right. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I understand. No, you see, you look just like Dr. Naturally, Bartok. Naturally, so you're I... his secretary, so naturally... Yes, that's you... the way it was. No. Let go. I mean it. What can I do for you? What more could any reasonable man ask? No, no, I didn't mean that. It was a slip. Slip my eye. That's Freud. What do you know about Freud? You gave yourself away. The subconscious mind coming out in spite of yourself. You're just a wild bundle raring to go. What are you, anyway? An analyst or a patient? Neither. An innocent bystander, I guess. What do you want? Nothing. Then what'd you come up here for? You told me I looked like Bartok. I was curious. Just that? That's all. The next thing you know, a girl, a perfect stranger to me, comes up and... Dr. Bartok isn't here. Goodbye. Wait a minute. A thing like this upsets a fellow. Goodbye. What do you mean, upsets a fellow? What are you doing tonight? Listen to him. About that date tonight. I'm very sorry. I'm busy. Dr. Bartok. Well, you... Here he come. What do you think? Dead ringer, huh? But what a difference. Don't kid yourself. If you knew me the way you know him, you'd probably change your mind. So long. You've been away from your desk for three hours. Three hours and ten minutes, to be exact. Don't you think you owe me an explanation? I was delayed. Very interesting. What if I may ask delayed you? I don't know. I walked around. I took a walk. You took a walk? Yes, Mr. Thompson. I felt like walking, Mr. Thompson. Here, don't you turn your back on me. Get your hands off me. I'm going to listen Get to me. Off. Ah, wait, you are. Got yourself fired. You know that. It's about time I had enough of this place. Don't you need the job? No. What are you going to do? Retire? That's right. That's very nice. It just takes a little dough, you know. Did you get the message? What message? There was a telephone call for you. Yes? Who? Did you leave a name? Were you getting excited about it? It was just your brother. Oh. He wants to see you. He's at the Hotel Frazier. Thanks. I knew something was wrong the minute I found out you took that job at Michael John's. What's the matter? What do you want? They started coming around, looking for you. Who came around? Friends of yours. They said they wanted to reach you. They were no friends, John. They were Rocky Stancic boys. How do you know? I checked it in the department. I found out all right. When did they come? Three or four weeks ago. 
Head of law over. Hang with his interest. You think so? There's a friend of yours. What? Huh? Marcy. It added up, explained everything. I remember Marcy. The way the two of you went running around. I remember his big cars, his fancy suits, his haberdashery. Why didn't you stay home and mind your own business? Don't you see what you did, you fool? You brought him straight to me. Nobody followed me. Don't worry, I watched out. What do you know about it? You ran around. Good times, girls. You were special. You never followed the rules. There were no rules for you. Would you believe it? I think I wanted to see you get away with it. You were everything I wasn't, everything I wanted to be, everything we all liked to be. 